So for this video, we're going to look into the arpeggiator. Now this operates on the internal synth, but right now I have it routed to my ESQ1 through channel 8 on the MIDI. So I'm in keyboard view. First off, you hold down shift, you count over 5 and go down 4, and we're now in the mode where we can change how it cycles. So off, there's nothing. If we go up, now it's going to cycle up the next notes. Next we have down. And both, which means it's going to go up and down. And random, so it's just going to cycle the notes randomly. So let's bring that to both. And if we go down to the next shortcut here, we're going to see this is the amount of octaves that it's going to be cycling through. So you can go to one, which is just one note, or two, two octaves, three, four, etc. I'm just going to leave it at two for now. Next one down is gate. Now, gate will affect the space in between the notes on the arpeggiator. Now, this preset on my ESQ doesn't exactly work with that, but if you turn down the gate, it's going to make the note shorter. If you turn it up, it'll make it longer. Now, next is the synchronization speed. So this is right now is eighth. We can make it faster or slower. Now the next one down is just a manual speed. The only way you can do that is go into here and then turn it to off. And then you can start changing that. For now we're going to leave this on 8th. <laughs> 